really cool. Oh shit. Uh, That's it. From the movie, as I promised. So here's the uh, teaser. I'm ready. We, uh, check that out. So Let's go. There it is. Justice League. <laughs> Oh, I saw the black suit. Oh, there's an extra flash scene. Damn, they're showing a lot of teasers. Oh, Stefan Wolf looks different. Yo, there's a lot of new footage. Holy crap. They're showing a lot. Finally showing the scene that they're all together. Oh shit. Oh man. These guys probably fought hundreds of thousands of other super beings on the other planets he's destroyed, right? And we have to assume he's won. I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us. Not us united. He's never fought us. Us as united. Oh man. Zack Snyder, man. Zack Snyder. I got so much goosebumps off of that shit. Oh, man. You know, it's not the super crispy, wide 4K, 60 frames experience or whatever, because they're still editing and, and, and putting it together. But I'll take what I can right now just to see what, what's to come. And they showed, uh, they showed a, a lot, more than I expected, to be honest with you. I did not anticipate for them to have showed... Um, you know, all that shit. That, ah, oh, man. I love the additional flash scenes, the additional cyborg scenes, Superman scenes, like. That's awesome, bro. That's awesome. I'm, I couldn't be happier. Wow. I just, now, reacting to this, as I'm reacting to this, I was doing the live stream and they just they just cut the live stream off for showing the, the, the Snyder teaser. But you know what? I don't care. You know, I'm just reviewing it, reacting to it. That's that's not fair that they would even do that. Some of my other videos reacting as well got cut off. That's ridiculous. What, did you show it? Well, I showed it, but small and I'm reacting to it. I'm using it for review purposes. They, You know, that's part of the... That's part of like the agreement. It's not like there's no copyright infringement here. I'm not using it for gain. Like, you cut your, you cut your stream right now. Yeah, I'm still recording though. I'm still recording. Thank God I recorded the reaction. If not, the stream would would have gone a waste. But you know what, bro? Well worth it. I don't care. And I'm gonna upload this. And if my channel gets messed up, then whatever. <sighs> that was that was a. Uh, it was intense, bro. It's not that... Um, I know you're saying, oh, why are you so stressed for? I'm just hyped for it, man. Because all these years, like, I still... Even to this day, August 22nd, 2020, it's something that I didn't ever think that would actually get made. I didn't think it was a reality. I never thought that Warner Brothers being infamous for 
cutting up and and forcing their way on on these directors and creators how they were gonna all of a sudden hand the keys back to Zack Snyder for him to do the the vision that he initially wanted to do whether it's the greatest movie ever or the greatest DC movie or superhero movie in general you know that's the verdict is still out for that we haven't seen it we don't know enough about it we don't know how big the changes are gonna come aside from the fact that it's gonna be basically a four hour freaking extravaganza like it's gonna be a four part series limited series pretty much is it, is it gonna be are they going full blown like 4k hdr all that bullshit well i i assume so i mean they're gonna release it in four parts he said and then at the very end they're gonna put it together as one long long movie so i'm thinking that that's gonna give them enough time to produce the movie in top-notch quality for hbo max which a lot of people are gonna want to sign up for it so i think it's in their best interest to put it in the best quality they can release that shit yeah okay and then the 4k disc i'm sure will probably come you know within a year after it gets this is this is a selling point for hbo max i don't see them dropping the physical edition till like a year later but you know let me just let me just cut off the the video footage playing in the background because i've already given them enough reason to freaking cut this off but um man it there's a lot of different scenes that you really don't know what it, they all build up to but they're key moments in the movie obviously showing dark side was something that needed to happen showing superman in the black suit needed to happen because these are things that has been rumored for for years since you know he left the project um you know we were promised this ginormous freaking event feel and when we got it it was just a movie that was cut up and put together by someone who had nothing to do with it to begin with so joss whedon did great with the first avengers and i get what he was trying to go for making justice league a lot like the first avengers movie but you know it's not about making it just like the avengers man there's there's other factors to it that clearly now with the money that hbo gave Zack snyder he's gonna be able to produce those images with the with the team that he has so yeah i was freaking stressing this this moment and nervous because i'm like all right immediately i saw the freaking footage and it wasn't you know widescreen so clearly they still have some final editing to do but just seeing that these images are freaking legit and they're real and it's happening it's like it's still surreal to me even just talking about it right now um you know we're talking about freaking batman being my favorite superhero and then as i've gotten older i've i've grown to love superman more and then jason momoa as aquaman and freaking gil Gadot as freaking wonder woman ezra miller the verdict is still all for him i think he's all right and then this guy fisher whatever uh i forgot his his first name but fisher or something that he plays a cyborg um surprise yeah no not for surprise i just i wanted to see more from him because that's a that's one of the newer justice league characters that was introduced in you know the 2000s and stuff and you know i wanted to see more from him and and i just feel like we didn't get a good feel from him and and they showed a very important scene there with his dad which i look forward to checking out in the full movie so i'm happy man i'm happy because at the end of the day Zack snyder Zack snyder every time he goes into these movies he he makes these long ass movies that either you love it or you hate it because if you hate it it dragged to you and all that shit because he makes them so dark and long so warner brothers tells him hey man you gotta chop it up and you know that's what happened with batman versus superman even though uh brian me and you have talked about this several times batman uh, batman versus superman shares a lot of similarities with civil war you know, Civil War, the great thing about Civil War is that there's a lot of things that were planted and that went into that movie that were set up. You know, Batman versus Superman, we have to set it up and we have to execute within the same movie. And that hurts the movie, uh, especially when Warner Brothers wants it to get cut down from what Zack Snyder originally wanted. So, you know, even though Batman versus Superman is not... A masterpiece in the eyes of many. I still loved it, and I thought Justice League was gonna at least be as great as Batman vs Superman because it had all these characters together sharing the screen, and and ultimately they freaking flopped on it. 
because Joss Whedon, as great as 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 he did with Avengers, um, he he really shit it. He shit it all over Zack Snyder's image, you know, especially with uh, with uh, bringing back Henry Cavill to shoot scenes with the mustache that he couldn't shave off. Like that was that was a red flag. They should have just cut it off already. You know, I just. So the stream is back up, I see. You guys have been hearing me too, so that's awesome. I'm glad you guys are still here. Uh, I'm recording and streaming at the same time. so. Um, but yeah, bro, I couldn't be happier with what I just saw. It was just a glimpse of what's to come, and, and I want to see more. Like, I, I'm good not seeing any more. Like, that's it. I don't need any more teasers. I don't need no more pictures. I don't need a 4K trailer. I don't just... I hope they don't spoil the movie because... You know, we already saw the, the movie that was dropped for us and that was forced out. We already saw that shit. So that's already in our minds. It's going to be hard to kind of sit down and see the Snyder Cut as a new reimagining. Even though it's going to be a four-hour movie, which is pretty much double the, the runtime on the, on, the, on the Joss Whedon re-edit. Um, it's double the amount of time, but it's going to be hard to see these scenes that we're already familiar with. Um, and and kind of dive into this new plot that it, it, it's what it was always meant to be. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm I, I'm clearly excited and overjoyed, man. I'm I'm done with this part of the video. So that's it. I'm just I'm pissed off that Warner Brothers is gonna be so cheap, and they're gonna freaking red flag my video. And if Warner Brothers watches the end of this video, even though I doubt it, because I'm such a small ant in this big ass freaking youtube universe but i think that it's so garbage that we can't even sit and do a reaction and not get penalized that's why i don't do these type of videos in the first place i have a hard time getting away with doing this and it's not like i'm doing something against the law it's just my channel always gets pummeled and that's why i get buried in this in this freaking search engine or whatever but yeah i'm done ranting i'm, I'm overjoyed i'm happy uh you know i'll let's take what we just saw for what it was it was raw footage put together for our enjoyment and in, in, in under that now under that spectrum on looking at it from that point of view i give it a 10 out of 10 because he did not hold back on teasing he did not hold back on giving us new scenes we saw a lot of fresh footage and 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 you know what that's a major salute because they took a major risk and showing you know those clips that could potentially you know ruin and spoil the movie so there's a lot more footage to come i'm sure and i'm good i'll wait i'll wait i'll wait and i'm done with this part of the video so let's just end it on that note um i'll see y'all later